Hi, my name is Rumbi Vunzawabaya. I'm a founder of a ministry called Freedom. I've been doing a series of videos, um, and this is the penultimate one, in the run-up to the launch of our new ebook called Planted. Planted is now available on Amazon. You can download it as an ebook or as an audio book. We've talked about recognizing the rotten um, roots in your life and the reason why you are bearing fruit which is not good fruit, which is um, rotten fruit. We've talked about letting go. We've shared some of the testimonies and you'll see on our Facebook page that we've had some stories from people who have been able to uproot themselves from those rotten roots and to be replanted in fresh um, soil and they're now thriving and doing really well. One of the things that we've had people ask us is how and what we've done in Planted is we've given you the four R's to help you on a day-to-day -day basis knowing how to recognize the areas in your life that need to be changed and to be transformed, repenting of sin, repenting of sin that you may have entered into as a result of past experiences. So for example, I spoke about my struggle with anger and uh, temper outbursts. And in doing that, I entered into sin. So I have to repent of that. And repentance comes daily. As you recognize areas in your life that you need to work on, then you repent. Then you need to replace negative thought patterns. You need to replace lies that you've been told. For example, you may have believed the lie that you are fat and ugly. But the truth is that you are beautiful. The truth is that you're fearfully and wonderfully made. The truth is that you're created in the image of God. The truth is that everything that God created is good. So what you need to do is to replace those lies with the truth. The truth that is in the word of God. And then you need to resist. You need to learn how to resist. The Bible says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So you need to know how to resist temptation. Know how to resist negativity. Know how to resist toxic people who come into your life and cause you to fall into sin or who, who influence you in a negative manner. So those are the four R's. They're expanded on implanted and you have tools as to how to do those things. We've got a list of declarations that you need to make on a daily basis where you keep telling yourself the truth. You renew your mind on a daily basis. That's how you stay planted. That's how you stay fruitful because as you are planted you need to water that plant, you need to be nurtured, you need to grow. Your watering comes from the Word of God. In your mind as you read the word you have faith and you start to believe the things that are in the word of God but for you to believe them you've got to read them so that's how you you you, you stay planted you stay fruitful so planted our book has got valuable tips it's got real good tools that you can use what we want you to do is to tell us you know, once you've read through the book, once you've used the tools that, you've, that we've, we've given you, we want you to come back to us and tell us. Tell us your testimonies. Tell us your experiences. Even tell us your challenges that you're facing. If there's anything that you feel, I'd really like you to teach on this. I'd like you to expand on this. Tell us and we'll be able to do that. We're here to serve. You know what our heart and our desire is to see free people freeing others, to see people who are no longer living in bondage, living in self-condemnation, living in regret, living with envy, with competition, but people who are secure in themselves, who are free because the word of God says, he who the sun sets free is free indeed. And that is our heart cry and our desire. I hope you've downloaded your book, Planted, if you haven't, please do so today. It's available on Amazon as an ebook or as an audio book. This is the penultimate video. We're going to have one more video, but in the meantime, please follow us on Instagram as Ministry Freedom. Follow us on our Facebook page. 
follow us on our website where we have blog posts and we announce all the different activities and conferences that we're doing. Our website is www.freedomministry.net. We look forward to hearing from you and thank you so much for listening.